Keeping calm. Hello everybody, Tom here. I hope you're all well. I want to talk today about the importance of calmness. Calmness within your life. Keeping calm and a clear mind when everything around you is not going well. Reason for this video is in recent weeks, as I've discussed, I have not been feeling very well and uh, typically there was an element of, not panic, but concern, shall we say. But the fact is, you don't know how things are going to play out until they do. They say that 90% of life is our reaction to it. And I truly do believe that situations, people... The way things play out, a lot of it is down to how we take it. Think of it like when somebody talks to you and they say something and you take it a certain way. What is said can be interpreted in how somebody receives it, okay? And that's down to you and your reaction. Things can go awry, they can go wrong easily. I've had moments in my life when I seem to have absolutely no control whatsoever, where, you know, every day was just really hard work, where I would literally go to bed at night, and while some people in deep depression struggle to sleep, struggle to settle, I was the opposite. I, I was relieved to put my head on the pillow because the daily experience I was having was just absolutely exhausting. Like, the tension I, I felt in my head, the feeling inside, the emotional, power, uh, emotional stress was a lot. So, believe me, I was generally very, very relieved to put my head down most nights. But that was my reaction to what was going on around me, a lot of it. And a lot of how things go and how we uh, sort of shape things is down to how we react and it's vital that we stay calm it's not an easy thing to do I'm not going to sit here and tell you that I'm the master of it absolutely not but as I have got older as I have become more sort of used to how how my mind has changed shall we say since I've become since I've had quite bad depression I've come to learn that the fear of the unknown can make things a lot worse you know than perhaps what they are and why we have to and why we should do everything we can to try and keep very calm and sort of cautiously optimistic that things work themselves out not always quickly, not always when we want and how we want, but you will usually look back in hindsight at the situation and see that it happened for a reason, that it was right at the time. And also that, you know, we have to be sort of less reactive. Even when things are falling apart around us, we feel that, we need to react in a way and panic about things and worry about things. I've got to the stage now as I don't worry about a lot. I don't worry because I have let go of the, probably the illusion of having control over stuff. A lot of things that we don't have control of, I don't worry about. I see it as a waste of energy and a waste of time. So my message for you today is as the mugs say and as the tele and as the t shirts say is to keep calm and carry on. When things aren't going right, when things are up in the air, it may be difficult, 
it may be hard to sort of get your head round, but the best thing you can do is just try and take one step as it as it comes every day, every minute of every day, if things are not going well. Because I believe 100% that anxiety is created in the human mind, like really bad anxiety. And it is purely down to our reaction. So if we can control a little bit our reaction or non-reaction, then we can just keep an open mind about things, be philosophically ready and right for things to work themselves out. Okay? And of course, good and bad will come to us all. It's a test, a test of us, our character and our ability to to carry on sometimes. Guys, third and final video of the week. I want to say thank you all ever so much for listening. I really appreciate your time and your energy spent here on my channel. Thank you kindly. Third and final video, as I says, please put down in the comment section below. Are you someone that is an advocate of keeping calm or do you find it difficult? A lot of people find it very difficult. I think probably because when a situation doesn't go the way we want, the natural inclination is to to worry and to panic and to become anxious very quickly. When really a lot of the time we just need to take a, a deep breath and just sort of allow the unknown to be more in control than perhaps what we are and just be in be mindful of things working themselves out whatever way i'd really appreciate it please if you would consider hitting that subscribe button down below again and it'd be really great if you could as well consider giving me a thumbs up and a like much appreciated and let's hear that bell sign go ding dong so you know my next content's out back next week with another free videos but as always until then please take care of yourselves and bye for now